So you're thinking about moving to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you the good, the bad, the nay, the yay, the pros, the cons of living here in Fort Lauderdale. So stick around and let's get to it. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Giovanni, a local realtor here in Broward County, Florida. And on this channel, it's everything real estate wise here in Broward and all the cities within. So if you would like to stay up to date with the current market here in Broward, be sure to subscribe for more. To get things started, Fort Lauderdale is home to over 200,000 residents and still growing as it's centrally located making it an ideal city for those looking to move to South Florida. The first pro we have is education. The data points and references I'll be making will be according to niche.com, greatschools.org, and other rating websites. Fort Lauderdale district is rated at a B plus for the overall Fort Lauderdale school system, with there being many schools within the city limits here of Fort Lauderdale. There is 109 elementary schools, 43 middle schools, 37 high schools, over three special program centers, and a few private school options. That totaling over 192 campuses all over Fort Lauderdale. And to break down the diversity here in Fort Lauderdale schools, the numbers go like this. 18.3% white, 38.9% African American, 3.7% Asian, 36.1% Hispanic, and the remainder is mixed across various races. Other stats includes 95% attendance rating, 86% four-year graduation rate, and over 30,000 employees. A majority of that are teachers still in demand for the entire Broward County. And the sports here in Fort Lauderdale Broward County Public Schools include the following. Bowling, cross country, golf, swimming, volleyball, basketball, soccer, wrestling, baseball, tennis, track and field, and of course, football. Football is on the top of that list with there being over 72 high schools here in Broward County. The next pro we have is the economy here in Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale is projected to have an overall job growth at 38% by 2030 compared to the entire state's average which is only at 32%. The entire city is seeing new development of apartments, condos and a whole bunch of commercial buildings. Some other stats include 6.1% unemployment rate, 1.9% annual job increase, with the rate from 2022 to 2023 being a whopping 4.2%. And the average household income is set at 67,000. Another factor of the economy is new construction. The new construction here in the heart of Fort Lauderdale, a well-known name to many residents and visitors, you guessed it, Las Solas Isles. 6th and Rio, an upscaling boutique condominium set to be completed in 2024, Pier 66 residence, a luxury waterfront destination set to be completed in 2024, the Edition residence with magnificent sunset view of Las Solas Isles and downtown Fort Lauderdale set to be completed in 2025. And there's a list of new construction set to be completed in the years ahead. The next pro we have is the outdoor life slash beach life. And when you think of South Florida, you think beaches. That's what comes to mind. Fort Lauderdale is the city for those looking for a lifestyle that blends adventure, relaxation, and great food. It's a very outgoing city with many attractions magnetized to downtown Fort Lauderdale. We're the popular hotspot that visitors and residents travel to 24-7, 365. You guessed it, Las Solas Boulevard, which offers 23 miles of pristine sandy beaches, nearby shops of all kinds to explore, delicious restaurants of all options, and the trendy boutique stores. The options here are truly limitless. The only problem you will have is just making up your mind where to go. To talk a bit about the weather and just, you know, all of South Florida in general, it's just amazing as it offers a year-round tropical climate with warm temperatures and plenty of sunshine. For those who like a bit of coolness, your best times to travel here will be between November and January. It does get a bit chilly in those months, but for the snowbirds watching, it's gonna feel like summer for you. 
However, though, this is South Florida, so be prepared for occasional periods of heavy rainfall and tropical storms during the rainy seasons. Overall, the weather here is pretty balanced, making it a pleasant destination for many. Another pro for Fort Lauderdale are the parks, entertainment, and fun things to do here. One of my favorite parts of Fort Lauderdale is the Riverwalk downtown. It's a span approximately 1.5 miles along the New River. It's just a scenic waterfront, a never-ending view that always provides a pleasant walk. There, you can connect with various cultural attractions and stunning views of the river and the cityscape. People go there for various occasions to walk, jog, run, bike, and to give the pets a walk. There's also many parks in the area for picnics and events. The shopping scene here is the Galleria of Fort Lauderdale. It's an upscale shopping mall that features over a hundred stores of all types, from high-end fashion brands, home goods, and luxury retailers. The architecture creation of the Galleria is just a stunning, stunning, stunning view that really gives you a sophisticated shopping experience with many dining options, events, and promotions going on. In regards to the parks here, they range from small to medium to large, with there being over 50 different park locations featuring over 270 70 acres of pure excitement and adventure. The real estate here in Fort Lauderdale does have its pros and cons. Across the entire city, you can find many homes that are more dated, being built all the way back in the 1900s. So a lot of the homes that haven't been updated will need a lot of work and maintenance. On the flip side of that though, there's also many homes that have been built in the late 1990s and early 2000s, which makes your maintenance nightmares less of a headache. Many new constructions have been in production over the past 20 years here in Fort Lauderdale with most of them being vacant lots previously occupied by homes that have been torn down. Those construction range from apartments, townhomes, and single-family homes. So if you're interested in the new construction side of things, be sure to comment below new construction. With the South Florida market being one of the hottest in the country for property value appreciation, Fort Lauderdale has experienced steady growth in the recent years, being consistently strong. For the long-term opportunity here in Fort Lauderdale, time and appreciation will be on your side. This truly makes it attractable for those looking to establish roots or to make a sound real estate investment. Now let's get to the not so good stuff, the cons here in Fort Lauderdale. The first con is traffic. Fort Lauderdale is by far by far the most congested city here in Broward County when it comes to traffic. Be prepared to take longer commute times, which of course frustrates us all. On major highways such as I-95, I-75, and 595, mostly taken by commuters for the convenience of not having to deal with the city roads, you will be surprisingly aggravated when it comes rush hour times. So please have some coffee, water, tea, your favorite snack nearby, and just relax, cruise, and breathe. The next con we have here are hurricanes, of course. When most people hear hurricane, they think Florida. And when they think Florida, they come to the conclusion it's South Florida. Well, they're quite right. No matter where you plan to move in South Florida, whether it's within Broward County or Miami-Dade, the risk of hurricane, tropical storms, and flooding should always be top of mind. Because when it rains, it truly pours. So you really have to question yourself and family you're planning to move with. Are we going to not relocate to South Florida because of the roaring hurricanes when June 1st to November 30th comes? Or we know the hurricane risk, but do we really want to not enjoy the diverse and Caribbean-like lifestyle that Fort Lauderdale has to offer? There are many questions to ask and answer before making the move here to South Florida. So make sure you have answers to all the questions important to you and your family. So there you have it. The pros, the cons, the good, the bad of living here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and just South Florida in general. I really hope you enjoyed this video today and remember whether you're looking to move in 9 days or 90 days, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email or schedule a Zoom call all in the description below. And as always, be blessed and until next time.